care if they're teens, high school students, or cats. And I go, whoa, this came alive. And, and then I'll say, hey, how are you doing? And they're going to make them talk like that, and it freaks them out. You said you're not very smart? I'm not. Okay, that's why you'd be right up your alley. Okay, there we go. Bugs Bunny. Bully or just silly webbing? Just silly webbing. Go around you guys! Well, I'll tell people I'm from Michigan. We all from Michigan here? Wait. Okay, I'm blessed because not only do I have the lower peninsula, but I have the upper peninsula too. <laughs> so see, you can't do that. You can't do that in Ohio, that joke. <laughs> so many people that bully other people, they totally forget they did it. And I get so many people that come up to me after these events and say, I went to my class reunion and I confronted my bully. And you know they didn't remember anything. You know, I did too. I confronted mine. He had no clue. All right, survey says. Go look at 10 seconds. Who said 10 seconds? Give a round of applause. He won. You won two wonderful items. You won a scratch off lottery ticket, and you also won the motivational walking CD if you like to walk. Okay, give it up. Come on, give it up for Greg over there. All we boys are bullies. Do we agree with that? No. Girls are too cute and dainty to be bullies. Do you agree with that? She opened the laptop up and said, Do you remember this girl here? That's me. Do you think you got the job? And I tell these kids this. I tell those middle school and high school students when I talk to them, they do what you did. Hopefully they'll remember. Because that kid, of course, ruined his career. All that work for nothing. I want you to write down one thing that you would do to deter bullying. Write down one thing and make it big letters and easy to read, and then I'll tell you what we're going to do next. Okay. Now we're going to have a little snowball fight. So I'm going to throw this button. Throw them that way, you throw them that way. Okay, good. Now pick up the one that's in front of you. Every account is true. That's a good one. Just have a little fun with it. Get up right now and find three people you do not know. Find out their names. If we did this every single day or once a week or once every other week, get them to talk to people that they don't normally talk to, sit next to people they don't usually sit next to. What they learn more about them, they'd understand them more much better world we have in the school. Get your groups, see if you guys can come up with either answer one, two, or three of these questions, whatever one you want to do. I'm going to start with this group over here. We can throw out some answers if you guys did what you were able to get to. One of the things we talked about with number three was um, open communication, communication with parents, so parents know what's going on and what's happening in terms of the administration to address issues if they exist. That's a good one, creating communication. Open communication, awesome, okay. Yeah, what did your group say? We had all the same things, but on that last one, the communication piece is not uh, the, the parent contact. Instead of voice was usually negative. Contact them with positive things. Like that. Great idea, contact them with positive things. Yeah, awesome, great. And that just for negative reasons. It's a good idea. If you didn't hear them, just positive, encourage parents on a positive thing. Just have some good activities fun things that they're going to like them and building so instead just offer the bad stuff. And most importantly, have trust. One thing we learned at Bully Free School, we just had a conference about two weeks ago, and we did it all about trust. If you can create trust within your staff, trust within your students, trust within the, you know, your administration, my goodness, what a great world the schools would be. Thank you so much.